What's going on guys, this is GameZ and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over the field exploration. If you guys don't know, this is the Sunday event and it only happens on Sundays, it happens once a week. Go in, catch as many Pokemon as you want and try to get those Pokeballs, try to get as many stars as you can to unlock rewards. So we're going to be jumping right into it right here and uh, first thing you have to do is you have to set your team. I already had set my team prior to, um, to clicking record but you always want to um, have a headbutt Pokemon on your squad. So as you can see right here, I have uh, all the strong Pokemon. I even have Jump Pluff just in case something I want to catch comes up. And I also have um, uh, Berloom which has headbutt. The reason why you want headbutt is from, uh, I don't know if this is 100% true, but from my personal experience, every time I've headbutt the fruit trees um, along the path, I've gotten more grass shaking along um, while going through the event. I don't know if this is 100% true, but in my case it is. Uh, every time I bring a headbutt Pokemon um, to try to get uh, a Mew finding or try to get more grass shaking so I can get a full restore, um, I just get more of it when I hit the trees. So I'm assuming it's true. So anyways, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to beat these trainers. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys what the rewards are um, at the end of this. So I'm going to be uh, times twoing through most of this. But we're also going to be showing you, guys, I encountered Mew twice during this. Um, I'm still like shocked over it. This is, this is the best and worst video of my life. You guys will see why, but it's so crazy. Um, I did not, uh, once I saw the Mew is nearby, I tried and tried to find it, but I just couldn't. So what ended up happening was I saw a Heracross and I ended up dying to it because my team was out of order. A lot of things went wrong in that scenario. And so then I ended up going back, healing up, walking all the way back to the grass. And on the way there, uh, stuff happened. Anyways, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but um, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, my strategy going in with this. So the first two or three trainers don't use your best Pokemon guys just use um, like Berloom right here just use um, them for the first couple uh, because there's no reason to use um, like a Zapdos with like Thunderbolt on these guys because you're going to kill it anyways and certain amount of PP you don't want to spend too many gems in this event you don't want to have to go back heal up because it does cost a hundred gems so you don't um, you want to kind of uh, strategize how much PP you use on certain Pokemon and you don't want to use your best moves so that's basically my strategy coming into this otherwise you're just hitting every trainer in order to get those three star wins so you can get the rewards at the end alright so let's answer a couple questions about this event so the first question um, you guys probably have is if, is this event even worth it so uh, going through this event, um, if depending on how well you do, sometimes you have to go back, reheal, which costs 100 gems, and sometimes if you only get two stars, if one of your Pokemon dies, you have to go back and refight the trainer, which is 50. So essentially, it's 150 just to get to the next. Um, if you lose and to keep going, so is this event worth it? Um, at the end, I will be showing you guys the prizes, but to me, it's not that worth it, guys. Um, the big thing that we're going to be doing in this is going to be catching Pokemon. Um, looking for those epics and trying to catch the ones uh, that are worth it. So what I would do is I would just go through it and play until you can't um, until you can't beat anyone. And then once you get to that, then just start searching around the grass um, if you don't see any rustling of grass or anything. And just keep going with that. So uh, the other question you guys might have is um, how do I get Mew? I mean obviously... Uh, the big thing, like I've said before, is bring a headbutt Pokemon. I don't think cut is necessary, but I think cut allows you to um, go into other bushes, which allows you to get more headbutts in um, to be able to get that moving grass. So um, that's the only way I've been able to get Mew, and the only way I've gotten it is through hitting those trees. So um, it, I think it does increase your chance whether or not... Um, you guys think that's true or hopefully we can get some comments down saying yeah that is true so that'd be so cool but uh here we are guys uh this is gonna be the last battle before we end up uh going into the new um before we hitting the last trainer and so far we've hit a uh, perfect run so far so we're looking to get that 33 star win in order to show you guys what all the rewards are so i'm gonna hit headbutt this tree right here 
And after we're going to head to the last trainer in this uh, area and on our way to that last trainer we see that it's bush right here so I'm going to go over it and it's going to say Mew appeared in the grass uh, cluster just now it may not be far away so what this means is it's going to be in this area so I searched a long time for this this is just a really sped up and this was the Heracross I was talking about I ended up dying to this Heracross uh, he ended up wiping out my team so he is real guys I know uh, that's the first time I've seen Heracross and I messed up so what it, I ended up doing is I had to heal all my Pokemon because I wanted Heracross he ended up killing Jumpluff so I wasn't able to get the sleep powder off so now all we're doing is we're going to head back uh, to the same area and uh, just keep looking for him because uh, when he says he's in nearby he's in that that grass uh, cluster that you were in to begin with so always go back there so on our way back there we're going to go over and we're going to keep looking for him guys so he's in that grass uh, cluster and guys this happened on my way to go into uh, that grass cluster to find Mew I find Mew before I even get there so this Mew has 63,000 health and uh, plus three legendary uh, five starred and it's just a beast guys uh, going through this battle uh, I because I have another video of I think it was like 35k before but now because I'm such like I'm higher level it has way more health so obviously the object of these battles is to get it as low as you can and then it says oh uh, it deems you worthy to uh, get a bugle shard or whatever for me so uh, yeah so that's all we're doing right now guys uh, we're just trying to kill it as fast as we can you only get 10 remaining rounds and so you're just trying to hit this thing as hard as you can as fast as you can so right here uh, it escaped and I did um, I did a decent amount of damage and it says Mew does not think you're strong enough he didn't leave anything so I'm very disappointed in that because I had done at least 25k um, worth of damage so that was very um, very disappointing to not even get one or not even to get like a chance or anything so anyways we have to go back because all our Pokemon are basically dead so we go back here and we're going to go back to that grass cluster where we saw um, uh, the moving bush where it said Mew's nearby so we're like hey um, in the be in the beginning I thought that hey that Mew was um, that Mew was probably from that grass cluster right so what ended up happening here is I found this by mistake guys I was not looking for Mew because I had already looked for it so much that I thought that that was it so to get back to back Mew's guys is insane this the chances of this I don't even know like the possibility of this so as you guys can see right here we switched our team because we're gonna go face the next trainer and boom we found Mew again back to back not even kidding and we get a second try to try to redeem ourselves. so this time we're like okay we're ready we have Zapdos up uh, we're gonna be doing lots of damage right um, unfortunately dies after only two hits so we're just like I said we're just trying to get it as low as we can so we can get another shot at trying to get this And as you guys can see right here, we took over 30k damage, barely, but we did 30k and we still didn't have enough to uh, for it to drop anything. Guys, I don't know if this was luck or what, but it was. It felt so bad um, to be able to get two Mews and then not get a single thing from it. Oh man, this is that's why this is the worst and best video I've ever done because it was such a heartbreak to not get anything. It's like finding, uh, it's like getting the jackpot and then knowing that you get nothing for getting the jackpot. So, uh, anyways, guys, uh, this is gonna be the last boss, so we can get that um, continued win. Unfortunately, during this battle, uh, my um, my recording software ended up uh, recording too much, and I didn't have enough space on my hard drive. So, sorry about that, guys. But this is the last boss or uh, last trainer. So this is all I was able to salvage from it. But anyways, uh, we're going to watch the end of this. And then we're going to continue to the rewards. Alright guys, so we beat it. And we finally got all of the um, 
finally got all of the points necessary to get all of the rewards for this area, so let's see what we get. First one, flying ball times two, that's nothing. Uh, another uh, more balls, nothing. And then we're starting to get TMs, okay. So another TM part, and again, another TM part, and it's not even that great. But anyways, guys, uh, so this um, event drops a lot of TMs. So as you guys saw right there, um, if you guys are looking for diamonds or um, master balls or something like that, uh, this is not the event for you. It doesn't drop a lot of um, good rewards, in my opinion, because you can get those um, elsewhere. But anyways, guys, um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, leave a like for this. I mean, I found two Mews, and I just can't even believe it. Um, I got nothing to show for it, but I was able to find it, and not a lot of people can say that. Um, like I said, it, it mysteriously happened. I wasn't even hoping for this, but oh man, guys, it was crazy. So yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, um, please subscribe. And otherwise, this is Gamesia signing out.